between the government of Ghana, led by the Ministry of Finance and SML Limited, to undertake some so-called uh, assurances, revenue assurance. And uh, first of all, let me commend the fourth estate, Manasseh, and uh, the media houses who conducted this investigation. Indeed, the minority has discussed this topical issue and will be moving processes in Parliament to ensure that there's full-scale investigation. Because we do not believe that there's value for money. This contract is a rip-off. This contract only ends up uh, filling the pockets of greedy politicians and individuals because uh, just a couple of weeks ago, the Mines and Energy Committee visited NPA and were made aware that they've put in place enough systems, enough mechanism, enough infrastructure to ensure that all the loopholes and all the losses are safeguarded and that they've even hooked up with the Ghana Revenue Authority to ensure that all those assurances are catered for. And so the question is that why would you need this? Even more importantly, it's turned out that the so-called three billion savings was nothing but a hose. We cannot allow the taxpayer to be burdened with such unnecessary contracts that only go a long way to fill the pockets of individuals. And so we would advise that immediately that contract is suspended pending the parliamentary investigation. And when we go into it and we find out that indeed all those allegations are true, we would ensure that this contract is abrogated because it doesn't serve the interests of this republic.